Thank you for choosing Johns Hopkins for your thoracic surgery. This video will highlight information about the recovery process for you and your loved ones. You will receive detailed written instructions from the doctor or a member of the care team before you leave the hospital. These instructions provide information on what you should expect during your recovery and include the contact phone numbers for your care team. Your care team will prepare your prescriptions before you leave the hospital. You can choose to have your prescriptions filled at the hospital or at your local pharmacy. Be sure to read the labels and use your medications as prescribed. If you have any questions about your medication, be sure to consult with a pharmacist or a member of your surgical care team. Find a medication routine that works best with your schedule. Get creative and use phone reminders to stay on top of it. It is normal to experience pain at the surgery site or near the chest. Your care team will prescribe several medications to help relieve your pain. Over-the-counter medications will be prescribed for mild to moderate pain, while other medications will be prescribed for severe pain. During your hospital stay, the care team will review the specific types of medications with you in more detail. Decrease the amount of pain medication you take as the pain gets better. If you are continuing to have pain, please call our office. We are here to help you. You may experience one or several common symptoms after surgery. Shortness of breath. This may vary. Continue to use your spirometer or flutter valve for one to two weeks after surgery. Longer if you experience coughing or shortness of breath. Blood in your mucus. When coughing, blood that was in your lungs will come out. This is normal. Chest tube site leaks. Some patients may leak straw-colored fluid through the incision. This is also normal. Coughing. Patients may have a slight cough or dry cough after surgery. This is normal as long as it becomes less frequent each day. Try using a pillow to prop your upper body up when you cough as coughing can cause some pain at the incision site. Weakness. Patients may feel weak and experience a reduced range of motion. Nausea. Patients could feel an uneasiness of the stomach. You've had a major surgery. It may take your body weeks or months to fully recover. Do not engage in strenuous activity. As you recover, allow for periods of rest throughout the day, and remember to do a little physical activity each day. Walking is the best medicine to help your lungs heal, prevent lung infections, and improve blood circulation. You should walk a minimum of four times a day for 15 minutes. Depending on the procedure, you may have certain driving and weightlifting restrictions. For example, patients should not drive two to four weeks following surgery and until they are off specific pain medications. In addition, patients should not lift anything over 10 pounds or make any sudden movements so that the incisions can heal properly. Your care team will discuss this with you. If you need travel assistance, please contact the Thoracic Surgery Patient Navigator.